there, it's Carol with Carol B. Crafts. Today we'll be making number six uh, card in my Thanksgiving online class. There's six fall themed thank you cards that you can make and um, it uses, we focus our thank you sentiments around the stamp set One Big Meaning, the stamp set right here. And you'll see that we'll be using Thanks Kindly today. And um, this is the clear mount stamps. Now, if you haven't yet um, taken um, my class, one of my classes, check out my blog www.carolbcrafts.com. You can purchase the class, or you can qualify to get a class free with a sixty-dollar retail purchase from Stampin' Up using the current host code on my blog www.carolbcrafts.com. So let's look at what you get when you um, have your class materials. Each uh, card or project will become in a separate package, just like this. And you'll get an envelope as well, if, if it's a card project. Everything is cut for you and scored. And um, you, there's a video for each one of the classes. If you've already got the class materials, thank you for supporting me. And I appreciate you very much. So, as you can see, everything is pre-cut. And I'll, if you didn't get my class materials, don't worry. I'll, I'll give you the dimensions as we go along so you can recreate this cl class card too. So we have our, um, this is early espresso, half a sheet. It's scored down the middle. With the valley facing us, we're going to fold it away. And I'll use my bone folder to crease that fold nice and up tight there. So that's our card base. Now this is a relatively simple card and you could switch out the sentiment and the focal point here. Instead of leaves, you could put something else. Um, so you could use this card um, designed for lots of reasons and lots of purposes. So the first thing we're going to do is get our uh, DSP, and this is from Painted Autumn, and it is five and a half by three and three quarters. It's going to go on top of a piece of pumpkin pie, which is five and a half by three and seven eighths, just an eighth of an inch bigger this way. So it's going to be even on the sides. And we're going to leave just an eighth of an inch at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and put that on with our adhesive. I'm using our snail. And this is a little waxy strip that I like to use. And it is just a piece of waxy strip left over from the mini glue dots that we sell. I'm going to put this on so that the... Um, the leaves are kind of swirling up, and like I said, we we want it to match on all all uh, sides except the bottom, and it's going to be an eighth of an inch at the bottom. It's a little un unusual way of doing it. It's not our usual way of putting on our layers. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to put this on our piece of early espresso and we want we want an eighth of an inch at the top and then this much about a quarter of an inch at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Put on a lot because I want it to stay on there really well. Make sure my uh, strip is at the bottom. So remember an eighth of an inch at the top and then it's about of a quarter of an inch at the bottom. Alrighty, there we go. We've got that much done. Now before we go any further, we're going to do our stamping and we're going to stamp thanks kindly. 
Now we have some paper here, some very vanilla. It's an op like a rectangle shape, and it is uh, four and three quarters by two and three quarters. And we're going to stamp with Cajun Craze. We're going to use the Thanks Kindly stamp from One Big Meaning, and I have it on a D block, and I have it uh, so that it's uh, in the like a diamond pattern. Now you can use your Stampamajig for this, but I actually found that it's um, possible to do it without the Stampamajig. Since there is a straight line up here and kind of a straight line there, it's a little bit easier to fit it in the corner. Now you do have to look straight down to get it straight, which I will have to do. So you, there may be a bump in the um, the video because I'll be blocking out my head when I look down straight. So we've got it. The straight part is going to go in the corner and it looks like it's about a quarter of an inch from the top and the side. So we'll go ahead and ink it up good like this. And that's our Cajun Craze. Okay, so I don't think it has to be like perfect, but that's about that's about where I want it. Now it looks dark now, but it's going to lighten up as it dries. Now I did something on the inside. If you have another stamp that you like um, on the sentiment piece of our uh, Whisper White, which is um, four by three and a quarter, four by three and a quarter, um, you could put something in the corner there. I used for that, I used the pick a pumpkin, and I used this pumpkin right here. But you don't have to do that if you don't have the stamp set, or if you have a different stamp set that has a fall theme image, you could stamp that on the inside. Okay, we're ready to do our focal point, our focal image. And what we need to do first is put our uh, copper trim around the front. And that's about, um, let's see, it's about 5 eighths of an inch from the bottom. You can measure it if you want. I'm just going to try to wing it. Put some glue on the back like we normally do. Give our... Uh, trim something to stick into. Put about three quarters of an inch there. Whoops, I put it on the wrong side. We want it at the bottom. Should pay better attention, huh? All right, let's try that again. So we're going to put it like um, three quarters of an inch. That's a little low. Let me, there we go. About five eighths of an inch from the bottom. Mm, that looks about right. Again, it doesn't have to be like perfect. You just want it to be even distances on both sides. Whatever distance you decide. And that looks good enough. So what we want to do now is put this on our um, chocolate chip. And we want even distances from this here and here. So let's go ahead and put some um, adhesive on the back. I'll put some on the for that. And I'm not going to use my waxy strip for this. I think I can do this without it. And it's, it's more than an eighth, but less than a quarter of an inch. It doesn't have to be exact, it just needs to be the same distance on both these sizes, sides. Okay, and then put some more adhesive on. And then we'll do the pumpkin pie. And these are the same, same um, the pumpkin pie and the early espresso is the same size as the um, van very vanilla. Okay, so here we go again. Hopefully, this will work out for us. 
And there we go. Now we're going to put this on the front of our card and we're going to use regular uh, Stampin' Dimensionals. Put one on each end there. And then a couple in here in the middle. Fill in, fill in the edges. We want to be sure our, our uh, focal image stays on the front. It doesn't come off. So we'll put plenty on there, and then we'll take off the backing. And once we have all the backing off, I think I do, uh, we're going to put it on the front, and we want even distances from the top of this, which I can see it's a little bit off. Too late now to do anything about it. It's just going to have to be that way. Um, quarter from here, we're going to want even distances from here. And even distances from here to the end, the bottom of the DSP. So I will use my uh, waxy strip for this. Just gently press it on there so I can use it to hover this over. And that looks about right there. Hopefully my boo-boo won't be too noticeable, but if you can see it's it's longer there than there's more distance here than there is here but maybe maybe it won't be that noticeable okay so we have that let's go ahead and put this in this is uh, like I said whisper white four by three and a quarter on top of pumpkin pie which is four and a quarter by three and a half Okay, once we get that done and we have our inside done, uh, we're going to go ahead and put these leaves on. I have the Cajun Craze and these leaves are cut out with this leaf die and this leaf die comes from the Seasonal Layers Thinlets dies and you can get this separate or you can get it in a bundle with um, I think it's the Colorful Seasons stamp, so it'll be the Colorful Seasons, Colorful Seasons bundle. And, and if you're going to get the dies, you might as well get the matching stamps. But I cut uh, Cajun Crates and Pumpkin Pie from that die. Now um, we're going to put them on, and I'm just going to use glue dots, because glue dots will hold it pretty well. I'm going to put a glue dot behind this part right here. Just one, one little glue dot, and it will hold it. And we want that about right there. And then this one is going to go on with the glue dot. And we want it oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna slide this underneath this leaf and then put it right about there. That looks good. Okay, we're, we're almost finished, but not quite. In your kit, you'll see there's um, some little pearls, two small ones and a bigger one. The two small ones we're going to put right here over where we put our glue dots. I like to use my pierce tool, my paper piercing tool and just slide it underneath there. If you have something sharp, just slide it underneath and then put it on top there. So those are where the two smaller ones go. And then the larger one, we're just gonna put up here in the corner, wherever we think it looks good. All right, that's card number six. We are finished with my Thanksgiving online class. But don't worry, I've got another one in the works just around the corner. So keep, um, keep your eyes open and check out my blog for uh, my next class, www.carolbcrafts.com. This class will be available through November 3rd, 
2017. So if you purchase a $60 retail purchase using my current host code between uh, now and November 3rd, uh, 2017, you will qualify for all the materials to make six thank you cards in a fall theme. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll take one of my classes. Bye now.